Greg, how you doing? Hey, good morning, Matt. Uh, pretty good, my friend. Pretty good. Um, yeah, it, an interesting Saturday afternoon, to say the least. Yeah, uh, I mean, you, you were using this chainsaw. You, you described it to me on the phone yesterday. You went to grab a limb with your left hand, but the blade or the chain was still running, and you were holding it in your right hand. What happened? Yeah, exactly. I, I was just about finished trimming the trees, and I love doing it. I do a lot of chainsawing out here on my ranch in Colorado, so, you know, it's not like I'm a rookie at this thing. And But anyway, I tried to cut this limb off at about chest high, and it started to fall straight straight down instead of, you know, falling away from me. And uh, and I went to grab it, the limb with my left hand, and I took my you know, chainsaw on my right hand. I took my finger off the trigger, so it was, the chainsaw was spooling down, but the weight of the limb was heavier than I anticipated. So it took, as I was pulling the chainsaw away, the limb came, took my arm right down on top of the blade. And um, I could feel it just crunch on through, and I said, oh, this oh. is not a good situation. So, and, so uh, this hit you like where you'd wear your watch, I mean, in that part of your arm? Yeah, exactly right. Just above where you'd have a your watch on your left hand, yeah. So I was, I was very, very lucky. Um, you know, the, number one, the blade was spooling down. Number two, uh, I missed my main artery and tendon by micromillimeters. And um, so I, my first phone call was to my wife, Kiki. I said, you better get a towel and a tonic and meet me in the backyard. She said, what's wrong? I said, nothing. And then I called my son, who was on the aisle, and I said, you better get here and take me to the hospital, which I've never called him like that before. And then I called my doctor friend, and I said, call the ER, Jupiter Hospital. I'm going to be there in 15 minutes. I just had a chainsaw accident. Yeah, and they, they patched you up. But, Greg, you told me something interesting. You said that while you were getting ready to do this and getting the saw out and the gas and the oil, you actually had kind of a premonition about this. Mm -hmm. I, I did, Matt. It was actually very, very scary. Uh, well, not scary, I suppose, but spooky in a way. Um, and I was putting my chainsaw in the back of my uh, car to go down there and do it. And, I, and this, this feeling came over me. I said, something bad is going to happen. Oh. And I paused and I said, nah, you know what? Let's just take our time. Everything's going to go. I'm a very positive guy. So mm -hmm. I said, ah, no, let's just plow through this. And and lo and behold, my you know, moral of the story is trust your premonition. I'm never, wow. I have had that feeling again. Yeah. I'm not doing whatever I'm supposed to be doing. Well, we're happy you're okay, yeah. buddy. I guess I don't get strokes on the golf course anymore. <laughs> but, but heal well, and we'll talk to you real Thank soon, you. okay? Thank you. Thank you.